Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and in the studio with me today is a family member, which is totally cool. Entrepreneurship is all in the family. Our guest today is Teresa Edmondson, owner and very involved in business management with Black Excellence Sandwiches. And she's going to tell us a little bit more because the title of her business is a lot longer. She's going to tell us a little bit more about her business. Welcome, Teresa, to the show. How are you? Great. How are you today? I am feeling fine. It's very awesome. exciting to have you on the show today. So I know because I gave that intro about family, folks are going to wonder what's our family connection. So um, you bought a business from a relative of mine yes. who owned the business before you. Well, um, yes, Alan Smith and Karen Smith, mm -hmm. they were the owners of k and Sandwiches and Grocery, mm -hmm. which, um, you know, I bought out from them. And, you know, they retired and passed it on to me, and I started it anew as Black Excellence Sandwiches and Grocery, LLC. Black Excellence Sandwich and Groceries, LLC. Wow, so what's it like being a business owner? I mean, I think when we talked before, you were in the store as a little girl and now you're <laughs> owning it. Well, yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's amazing and it's a lot of responsibility, mm -hmm. which I love. It's a lot of control. Okay. Um, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on. You know, so at first it was kind of overwhelming. You know, but once I started to get the hold on things and, you know, they're mentoring me, helping me out along the way. So it's it's a great experience and I love it. That's terrific. That's terrific. Well, you know, family really can be built in mentors and to be able to have that support as you're in your first year yes. of ownership. Wow, that's terrific. So what were, you know, when presidents get elected, they often follow them in the media on the first 100 days. So for you as a business owner, what were your first official 100 days like? My first 100 days were um, oof, busy. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get all the paperwork together, trying to organize everything, making sure um, stock and inventory are together. Just all those small details that you wouldn't really pay attention to walking in at first. Mm -hmm. Things that, you know, the normal person wouldn't notice coming to get a sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's just all those, you know, details, mm -hmm. you wow. know. So take us back mm -hmm. to when your uncle and aunt, um, who are also my uncle and aunt, when um, they owned the store, what was it like as a little girl? Um, were you always a consumer? Did you get free access to the candy jar? Um, what, what's the inside scoop? It was always a great experience mm -hmm. because, you know, I come in there, okay, this is, my aunt would be like, oh, that's our little princess. Just let her hop in line and get a sandwich and stuff like that. But also they showed me the work mm -hmm. behind the scene. So I got to see my uncle and my aunt get up and run. They, they basically ran out, let's pick up this, let's pick up this, we have to go to the bank, we have to uh, send this order over to the radio station. So I saw a lot of the work behind the scenes as well as, you know, a great product. Mm. You know, so, you know, everybody knows K&A. &A. Everybody loves the sandwiches and the tastes. And, you know, I kept all of that together with Black Excellence Sandwiches and Grocery, the same recipes, the same mm. sandwiches and the same family uh, feel and professionalism. Wow. So what you're really talking about right now is branding. So the K&A brand was important to you and the quality and you put your mark on it by changing the name um, when you became the owner. Tell me a little bit more about the, how you chose the name of your business. Well, I thought that um, Black Excellence, it incorporates, you know, black, the color black incorporates all the colors of the rainbow. Mm. And, you know, I just, I thought that was just awesome. Mm. And I, I like I like that and I paired it with excellence because we want to be excellence. We want to strive for excellence, uh, quality, taste, mm. you know, everything. So I thought it was a good meld to put together. Wonderful, wonderful. So you started as a little princess, which is wonderful, <laughs> <laughs> and now you're the owner. 
what what was that significant moment that you know was it in your 20s or what was that moment where you said you know what, I am going to own this I'm gonna step up and run this and be in control yeah I definitely was in my 20s okay. because when I was younger you know I always wanted to be an architect and, and deal in real estate and stuff like that. But I also knew that I always wanted to own my own business. That was going to be the goal. I was like, go to school, figure out things there, get my master's, and then own my business in architectural engineering or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in between time, I always worked with food. Mm -hmm. So, you know, being at this sandwich shop and working with food, I had to understand this is a part of my vocation as well mm -hmm. because I've always worked with food and I also wanted to be a business owner. So, you know, I let go of the architecture. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let me sleep on this for a little bit, focus on what's right in front of me and this opportunity in front of me, take this on, conquer it, and then I can move on to continue the other ventures wow. I like to do. Wow, very inspirational. Okay, so you've got this business now. What are some of the results that you're really proud of? I, I, I'm hearing some pride about our sandwiches. Everyone knows. So what are some results? Now, a lot of the results that I'm proud of is, um, well, having my interns. I did a lot of paperwork and a lot of stuff to get this summer program working this summer. So that was one of the um, great things that I liked that I got done. Mm -hmm. um, getting, making sure that all our paperwork was organized and that I'm making sure that uh, we have our quality control, like that our quality and our product didn't fall off, mm -hmm. you know, from this new ownership. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I want to keep everything very professional and, you know, the same mm -hmm. that, you know, that everybody else is used to. Um, also, I took some business classes at um, University of Penn, so I'm glad. Oh, well, the, congratulations. Right, the results that um, I got from that and just getting some experience in uh, joining the SBA mm -hmm. and getting help with uh, promoting our store that way as well. So, you know. Terrific. Well, I hear the pride. I hear the excitement. Um, you're still under 40. Um, so <laughs> what's, what's in the future for, you know, your business? Definitely in the future, I would love to bring some um, or more organic produce oh, to our store okay. because we function as a grocery as well. We grow a grocery deli. Mm -hmm. So definitely trying to get some solid smoothies and uh, fruit juices and stuff. Okay. We're definitely in the works uh, with doing that. We already have um, a variety of different foods and fruit trays that we do already, mm -hmm. but if, uh, definitely trying to get some grass-fed meat um, organic and vegan options in our store. That's what oh, we're looking towards. Okay. Well, I know that our viewers are probably very hungry at this moment <laughs> and are saying, how can we find you? So where are you located? How can they find you online? Well, uh, we're located on the corner of 20th and Dickinson okay. in uh, South Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also uh, you could catch us on our website, blackexcellenceonline.com. Okay, it's uh, spelled just the way it sounds. Okay. And also, our phone number, you could uh, catch us 215 334 3026. Would and, you repeat that one oh, more sure, time? Oh, sure, it's not a sure. problem. 215 uh, 334 3026. Terrific. So, right now, if we were, we don't have a picture, but if we were to walk into Black Excellence Sandwich and Groceries, LLC, what would we see? What would we see first? Uh, the first thing you're going to see is, you know, our happy faces. Oh, you I know? love it. <laughs> oh, great customer <laughs> service. Okay, terrific. Expecting you to uh, come. And then the next thing you're going to see is our biggest thing, our sandwich list. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to decide, most times people pick our specials, okay. like the Karen, Zoe, um, Alan or Shannon. Oh, gosh, that sounds very familiar, <laughs> given that those are family names. Uh, Karen, what's on the Karen, sort of top oh, three Oh, the Karen, is a, it's a Karen kosher. It's all beef. Okay. So like uh, beef bologna, beef salami, corned beef, like that whole, mm. it's all beef. Okay. And, you know, that's, that's a good sandwich right there. Okay. The Alan is like 
a big corned beef special, but with mm -hmm. like some extra meats in there. You got the spiced beef, and then you got some uh, turkey in there, so that's delicious. Okay. Then you have Shannon, that's mm -hmm. like a spicy and a sweet taste. Ooh, so you got okay. some spicy turkey, then honey turkey. Mm -hmm. You know, that that is a good taste with some Russian dressing and uh, pepper jack cheese. Okay. And oh, then wow. we. Uh, I should have insisted on samples. <laughs> well, I, what was I thinking? Okay, go ahead. And how about the Zoe? And the Zoe, that's like. Uh, uh, Jewish Italian. It's all mm. turkey meats. Like uh, we got turkey pastrami, gourmet turkey, turkey um, salami, and the turkey ham. Yeah, with some Swiss cheese. That also tastes good. That is terrific. So you definitely, folks can contact you if they're having a party and they want to order a sandwich tray. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Um, a lot of people order our trays for parties and mm -hmm. business affairs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We got like a, a big order with the uh, University of Penn and then Patty Jackson, she loves to order our, sa our sandwiches from oh, time to time. Oh, okay, okay, well, wow, okay. <laughs> good, good to know, good to know. So as a young entrepreneur, you're in a position to encourage and inspire other entrepreneurs. What advice do you have for them? What advice? What? Uh, my advice for them would be stay focused. Mm -hmm. uh, stay in line with your goals. Okay. Don't okay. compromise and, and change them for people. And oh, okay, for other know, people? Right, okay. for other people. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if somebody's giving you some advice and it's worthwhile, of course, take that advice. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you have a goal and you're focused on it, don't let anything get in the way of it. Ah, okay. And moving forward, since you talked about focus, a question I often like to ask as we wrap up the interview is when you focus your energy, what happens in your world and around you? So what would that be? When you focus on your energy, mm -hmm. it's like things just start coming your way. Mm -hmm. When you're focused and you're seeking and looking for what you want in life, you will find it. Mm -hmm. It might take a little bit of time, but you will find it. Will and that's the it. best thing about that. <laughs> Great. You know, it's been a lot of fun. Um, again, I do wish that I had had you bring a sandwich tray. Uh, shame on me. And uh, why don't you say one more time, name of your business, where people can find you. Oh, yes. Black Excellence Sandwiches and Grocery, LLC, mm -hmm. on the corner of 20th and Dickinson, South Philadelphia. Okay, terrific. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. I look forward to hearing great things about you and your business. Businesses, you know, the one-year mark is definitely critical. Three years, five years. I know that you've got an intern with you. Congratulations on developing your business. And I look forward to hearing how you just continue to grow the business. Thank you. So keep doing the work you're doing. As I say to folks, you are significant. Continue to be significant. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, folks, there you have it. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, and significant young black female entrepreneurs. Our guest today is Teresa Edmondson, owner and very involved right now in business management with Black Excellence Sandwiches and Grocery, LLC.